The Metro Board holding a meeting in part to gather information from the public. But this comes after multiple violent and fatal attacks on Metro's buses and trains. Fox 11's Ed Lascos live in West L.A. with the latest tonight. Ed? And Marla, this uh, workshop is the first of several coming up by Metro over the next few weeks, and it's designed to get your input, public input, on a new light rail line they want to set up. But there are many who argue, mostly passengers, that Metro should be using this time to talk about something much more important, like the safety of its passengers on its buses and its trains. Watch. That's a much longer trip. And it's Metro showing off its plans for a new light rail line 12.4 miles from Hollywood Boulevard to 120th Street, cutting right through the so-called Vermont Corridor. But many hoping to hear much more about another Metro plan, security. We need, like, some security or officers on the bus lines and, and the trains to keep us safe. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that way we'll feel more secure. We need to be involved not only in the building of this, but where the stops are and in the security aspect of it. Who should be on the bus, when and why. And the exact timing of this public meeting also under fire by some. Metro says it was planned way in advance, but it comes as the embattled transit system is reeling from a spike in violent crime, some of it deadly crime on board its buses and trains. Timing is right, in, 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 in the timing is perfect. We're trying to get this project done in time for the 2028 Olympics. But we have all the, you know, the violence that's been happening. The timing wise. Uh, timing wise, again, I think we need to continue on our path forward to deliver our, the promise to our voters. Just hours before this Metro meeting, the latest violent attack. This time here in Linwood, the Metro Route 60 bus stop right in its tracks on Long Beach Boulevard after a passenger is stabbed by another passenger. The attack happens in the back of the bus, leaving some on board shaken up. Things are not going to change in the Metro or the or this field because there's not enough security. And I feel like the more the more like we wait on that the less the less safe it's going to be that is metro leaders double down on their vow to bring in a surge of law enforcement check this quote the attack today on a metro bus in linwood is horrific and yet another grim reason that we need a surge of law enforcement on our transit system that from the county supervisor and vice chair of the metro board and this from a concerned wife of a metro bus driver safety is a concern so you probably hold your breath when he goes and does his job he driving graveyard shift he's on his way to work right now oh my goodness yes yes so safety is a huge concern it's it's very important now live, very important, she says, as for the timing of all of this, Metro says it really dates back to 2016 when you, the voters, approved Measure M, more light rail lines set up in time for the Olympics. To their point, though, they say this new line will have a better enhanced lighting, shorter wait time for passengers, adding to their safety. But when you try to pin them down on law enforcement, armed law enforcement, they say that they can't talk about that. That's up to the Metro board itself. For now, we're live here at West L.A. Back to the studio we go.